NFL 24 on EA Sports. And we'll get a look at Joe Burrow. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Bears and the Lions next on Madden NFL 24. One of the great vid any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, it's a week nine matchup. We're all set to go as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're gonna try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? And Two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2020 from LSU. It's Joe Burrow. And I think if you ask most folks to give you their first half MVP, very likely they're going to say it's this man right here. The NFL's leader in touchdown passes to this point in the season. Still two months to go. But they keep going to the pace he's at. This is going to be a dangerous team come January. And you can very well walk away with the MVP. Here's second and three. The option left, it's Burrow. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. Now Burrow. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And it's going to be another first down as they get him to the ground at the Lions 45-yard line. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. And this is an offense that's number one in the NFL in rushing, and you know that has to be the focus of any game plan defensively. But they can throw it, too, as evidence right there. And they move the chains here on this opening drive. They'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Burrow looking to pass. And it's caught right at the ten-yard line. And they got it inside the ten at the eight. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Burrow will throw. Got his man, and it's caught for Chicago touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bears will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Now Cade York for the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. So this drive spans seven plays. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. And what a first half of the season he's had leading the NFL in passing yards to this point. It's been a tough man to slow down. So this defense certainly has its work cut out for him. A handoff to Spiller to begin the drive. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Taking a peek at the rushing numbers for Spiller in last week's game. 24 carries, 124 yards. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their will out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. the play fake it's Bennett all right rifles one and that's going to be intercepted Cheetah Bay Luzier with a pick and the Bears are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield so problems with Aaron passing continuing remember he threw two picks in the loss last week and now another here in this first quarter it's up time partner this is the result of a quarterback who's simply trying to do too much feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week and he can't do it all on one throw Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Burrows for the throw here caught by Addison. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Burrow now off the bootleg. A little short pass here to Hill. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And it'll be second down. Well, these two teams hooking up for the second time this year. They first met back in October, week seven. And it was the Bears getting the road victory. So they'll look now to take the season series here at Soldier Field. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17. Into the red zone, first down. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Again, it's Burrow on second and 10. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Haven't been a corner that's worth this off yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? On third down, Burrow. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. McCaffrey. Showing off the elusiveness as he's in. Touchdown. Well, and wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with the football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. He sends this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. 
Well, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. Throwing here on third, Bennett. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzia in the pick. And this will be returned to right around the 38 yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain there of 21 yards. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first and ten, Joe Burrow going for Bateman. He's got him on the out run. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards to go, second down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. Brings up third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. Here we go with McCaffrey. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Kobe Parkinson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bears take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. This fielded right at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. And he's had a hard time avoiding the interceptions of late. A couple last week, a couple more so far in this one. See if he can do better here as they start with a first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down from the 24 now. Here's a second and seven. Bennett now to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Jones. So five yards here, five on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They run with Holyfield. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down is right. On first and ten is Spiller. 
And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. On second down, Bennett to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. You look at this Bears defense against the pass, just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that... And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Cheetah Bay Aluzier with a pick. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. 23 yards on the play. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. This will be caught at about the six. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Now it's Burrow. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the defense. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Back to throw, Bennett. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. Out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Bennett now off play action. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17 yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exact. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge. You know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. 
but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Time for another look at this Lions offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. The slot man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You look at this Bears defense against the pass, just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. You know, when actors get ready for a scene, they often ask the question, what's my motivation? But what's the motivation of this group? What's their mindset? What's the problem that they have? Will they create an identity that allows them to get better? We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Bennett now. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return, and the Bears take over. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now Burrow on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Now it's Burrow, and that's incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to rumble the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. From the gun on third down is Burrow. And that is incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we're talking about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. This is taken around the 12. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Lions will take over. Well, this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Second down and six now from the 26. They run behind center with Spiller. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. A gain of 13 yards. And the Lions first down. And Bennett will look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Bennett. Man open here is Jones. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Bennett fakes a handoff, now to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Off play action, here's Bennett. Flush to his right. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Stetson Bennett taking it in from four yards out. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll make it 24 to seven. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. The Bears offense ready to get going again. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed? Or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've been terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And they will take over first and 10. Detroit's offense ready to take over. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Second down and six now. Looking to throw here, Bennett. He finds his man complete. That's McDonald. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Bennett to the air on first and 10. His throw incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, here's Bennett. He completes it to Jones. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, 
but needed 10. Now Justin Tucker's out to try to field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and that will close the gap down to 14. So they get the three. It was fourth and one, and I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no... Down the numbers. There he goes. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And Bateman, and he'll go in motion right here. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off, and he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. And Detroit getting set to go now. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no points. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. This offense on third down today, just one for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. This complete to Jones. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start with the option. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Burrow. And this is going to be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Right back to Spitter on second down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 49 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores. But the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On the counter, it's Spiller. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now they'll look to throw with Bennett. They'll roll him out right. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions, but that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set of downs. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The Lions have one and six now. Yeah, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since they've had a W. They have dropped four in a row. Let me tell you, when you go a month partner in this league without a victory, it gets tough to come to work every day. And it, there he goes, right side. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. No gain on the play there. Second down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say. Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Gets this one to use check. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Tough spot here. Third down and 11. Bennett looking to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Tucker's kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him in with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. The Chicago offense set to get started. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Burrow looking to pass. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Burrow. He's got a man, complete. And they're going to have 
this across midfield and inside the 45. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Here's a second and eight. second and eight. All the option left, it's Burrow. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. That's good for our Chicago Bears. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Brings up second and four at the 10-yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it, and it's caught. Touchdown! Second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Bears are able to stretch out their lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Well, this offense and Isaiah Spiller head back out. Now he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all his points. Let's hold down everyone else. And that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote unquote as he's been yeah and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground not start to go through the air as much and he'll get this up to the 34 yard line now they got to get to the line quickly first and 10 here's Bennett find Spiller on the check down the Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Third and two. To throw is Bennett. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Are the Bears going to take over now late in this first half? First down, here's Burrow. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Just nowhere to go with the football. He was forced to put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all on that play. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33.
Now it's Burrow. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Here's second and 10. To the air again, Burrow. This is caught by Addison. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 41-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Now a second and 10. Now it's Burrow. And under the Lions pressure, he's brought down. K. LeVon Chason in there to get him, and with it, time will expire here in this first half of play. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan. Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and can. <laughs>